Hi everyone. Uh, this summer I'm doing a project with Professor Alexander Kogan about the application of the blockchain technology to fraud detection. As you can see here, currently we have like 15 million blockchain bitcoins in circulation and currently the price is around $600 and uh, for there is a blockchain here so currently for the blocks there are around uh, 1000 uh, transactions in every block and we can if we get a block and we can have all the transactions happens around the world and uh, now we have many uh, unique addresses used so which means they have a um, lot of wallets contain or transfer the bitcoins so this we can see the Bitcoin and the blockchain technology has been used for many people and uh, it is quite popular. So what we are, what are doing to do now is to try to f uh, co collect the data uh, which contains the blocks, the, uh, the blocks from the blockchain and the transactions in the blocks and uh, we want to analyze. For example, if here is a block, we collect, we collect the blocks and we have the transactions here and for each transaction we have the inputs and outputs and uh, um, we have the inputs and uh, we could get the address of the inputs and the address of the outputs and the money who transfer how much to other per per people and uh, for the address information if we collect the, the recent block we can even have the IP address here so what we are going to do is to apply this technology to audit and to fraud detection and uh, there are several applications such as the global economy monitoring the confirmation the automatic confirmation of bank statement accounts receivable accounts payable etc and uh, we can also do the financial statement fraud detection i'm going to tell the detail later on and for the global economy monitoring you can see here is the, the, the picture of the United States and if we can see the overview of the whole world we can see the cash flows from uh, flows in and flows out of the world and we can continuously monitoring of the cash flows for the confirmation automatic confirmation application we, if we design our blockchain technology properly and we use this infrastructure to pr to detect fraud. We can use private or public or hybrid blockchain to connect in the world economy. And in the world of the value creation chain, we zoom in and zoom out to find every transactions. And uh, the application of this I have mentioned before is like automatic confirmation of every document, money transaction and etc. So for the financial statement fr fraud detection um, there are many financial statement fraud and we can deal with so we, for example misstated inventory, embezzling or appropriation, um, option backdate, backdate, revenue recognition or other types of fraud. For the misstated inventory and um, if we design our infrastructure of the blockchain technology properly we could have the for each digital token to represent uh, for example the money the products or service the raw materials or the procurement transaction under the surveillance of the um, blockchain technology and uh, the tra shipping transactions and we can get those records automatically or confirmation and uh, for the transactions details about the um, uh, we can detect the embezzling or appropriation such as some suspicious transactions happens or inventory embezzling or some other tampering with the accounts numbers so we could uh, use our technology to detect that one. For some other things such as the option backdate or revenue recognition because those transactions are time-stamped and uh, recorded so we cannot template ways and if we want to change the date or change the time there is a problem with that and uh, this could help us to uh, help the auditors or um, to detect the fraud 
and, uh, and also this will save the auditors a lot of time and um, save the auditors a lot of time and and for the other types of fraud such as ex missing expenses, cost of goods sold, and capitalization, the cost of the assets, etc., we can still use also the blockchain technology to detect 